Hello friends, my name is Shivam from DevOps Schools and I will help you to enable your learning process in various technologies of DevOps, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data and many more. This is our initiative to help you by sharing multiple tutorials and videos. And if you want any specific tutorials or any particular topic, then please do comment in the below comment section and I will help you with it. Also, please subscribe to our premium services on YouTube, which will give you access to more content and videos to enhance your knowledge about all these topics. Also, if you want me to help you with regards to the online trainings and classroom sessions by our qualified trainers, then do please do write me at uh, contact at devopschool.com. So if I try to run it, so this is let me. Telephone. Right now it won't be recognized because though we have kept it at a place, we have to put that uh, put that into the environment variables. Okay, so so, so you have to add it to your system environment variables. Just add the add the path to that uh, PHC. Sorry, add it, browse it. Terraform. Okay. Let me close this and do once. and this time we will get it so we have version 1.0.3 which is later uh, similar is for the linux so what you will do is you will just download it in the linux anywhere extract it and just put it under user bin usr bin and then you should be able to move ahead so that's the that's how straightforward it is okay and uh, i'm using uh, the gui tool which i'm using is visual studio code you may have your own persons which is perfectly fine uh, visual studio code gives me some unique benefits of like i can install specific uh, what you say extensions related to terraform in visual studio code so like uh, hashicorp terraform and terraform so it um, is once i install these extensions so i get the intellisense so i means i don't need to remember all the specific uh, what you say uh, variables or commands of terraform so uh, it, once i just start typing it will give me the rest of it okay so but uh, if you have any other uh, tools of preference that's perfectly fine okay so uh, let now before we start uh, so as i said i will be doing my demo with uh, aws today okay so uh, where i uh, and i believe you guys have already been uh, given uh, some knowledge of AWS so I think that makes perfectly sense to go ahead and create our resources in AWS using Terraform so uh, because you guys are familiar with AWS I will just give you some information uh, what changes I have made in AWS so that in case you need to make those changes you can do so so uh, in aws there is a im manager with where we create users roles and groups okay so uh, i have just created a user called devops school and i have given it admin access okay though uh, in uh, in uh, actual work scenario you give the limited access to as limited as possible access to uh, uh, to a particular username the amount of access it requires 
okay so uh, you can uh, like you can create certain user uh, groups so like developers management you can define the access on them and then add those user into that so they, those users will be then get that much access so for just for right now for demo purpose i have given it the admin access okay and i have created it so whenever terraform works with aws it works in a programmatical way okay i think let me just create a users and show it to you that will be more uh, so i said devops school i'm not going to create it i'm just showing it for you so we give the user name which is going to interact with terraform and aws should or only requires programmatic access it doesn't require the aws management console access so if you are creating a specific user which will only be used for terraform purpose you just need to give it the programmatic access okay you may call it as terraform user whatever you want to now the main part is giving it the access so you can just as i said you can attach it to a group which has been given very specific access okay and it will be then access to this user will be limited to that much access only okay so uh, for right now as i said i just gave it administrator access then you need to provide any tag and then you can just create the user i'm not going to create it but just for the demo purpose i showed it to you once you create that user okay you are given an access key a sick and a secret access key something like this hey viewers our master in devops engineering program can help you to hone the skills necessary to succeed in high level devops positions so what are you waiting for enroll now and earn certification that show you are keeping pace with today's technical roles and requirements contact info is mentioned in the video sidebars and in the description box book your seats for the upcoming batches now so you will get something like this an access key and a secret access key okay which we we will be using while we are creating the infrastructure so this access key and secret access key is your gateway from terraform to connect to aws so in other way your provider aws provider will look for these access key and secret access key to connect to your aws environment okay so uh, without delaying it further let's move ahead and work on our first program or our, our, our first script which will allow us to create a AW, uh, ec2 instance give me a moment guys Yeah, I'm back. Okay, so uh, first of all, as I said, we will create a project or uh, in terms of Visual Studio Code, we are creating a folder or a 
Okay, so I'll just say first and I will just select this folder. Okay, so now I will create something called as uh, the first thing I will create as provider. As I told you, the provider is the first thing. And this has the extension of tier. Okay. I can type it as well. So see, now this IntelliSense works here. Okay. As soon as I say, this is, uh, I can just say AWS, that's it. Now I need to provide certain information here, which will help uh, my uh, Terraform to connect to AWS. Okay, so uh, the first thing is, in which region of the AWS we want to create this resources. So uh, if I come here, like I have chosen North Virginia, but you may choose any of these regions and this the codes are given here. So US East one corresponds to North Virginia. Similarly, anywhere in the world you are, you can choose the corresponding region. Okay, uh, so uh, creating instances near to your region always gives you advantage of that you have a less latency. So you definitely should choose the region which is near to you. Even within US, you can choose specific region which is near to your place. Okay, so it's a region. Yes, East one. Likewise, uh, I'm just not going to type to save the time. Okay, so I'm um, just next. I need to put the access key and secret key. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just directly copying and pasting from here. That's it. Uh, that's the provider part we have. Oh, yeah. That's the provider part. And now this is it. And then now we will create a, another file where we will define the resource which we want to create into the EC2, oh sorry, in the AWS. So provider we have created, which will connect our Terraform to AWS, okay? Now we, the actual resource which we want to create. Okay, so as I said, Terraform considers everything it is creating as resource. So I will say resource. It gives me the definition. So, like I, I said, we want to create an EC2 instance. So, it is consider it is known as AWS underscore instance. Okay. You can give any name here. This is just uh, this is just a definition. Doesn't impact the actual instance in any way. Now while creating an ec2 instance uh, there are only three things required what is one is called ami amazon machine image okay so uh, whenever hey viewers trying to get into devsecops 
and all for our DevSecOps Ops certified professional programs and earn the certification that shows you are fit for these technical roles and requirements. Contact info is mentioned in the video sidebars and in the description box. Book your seats for the upcoming batches now. And, and let me just show you the comparison of uh, creating it manually and uh, with the Terraform. So it will be more clear to you what I'm writing there in the Terraform, uh, how it corresponds to the manual stuff. Okay, so uh, if we launch instance from here, okay, see here, we have to select an AMI. Okay, so AMI name is given here. So you have, you need to decide whether you want to decide uh, whether you want to create an Amazon, Amazon Linux, Mac OS, Red Hat, Ubuntu, SUSE, SUSE Linux, or Microsoft Windows, and host of other operating systems are available. So uh, let me take Ubuntu 18.04. So AMI name is this is the AMI name corresponding to this Ubuntu server. Okay. And for Terraform, this is the only deciding factor whether you want to create a Windows operating system or whether you create a uh, Ubuntu or whether you want to create an Amazon Linux. That's the, the deciding factor. Okay, so I would say AMI and I will just put the name of the AMI. Next, we want to give the instance type. Okay, let me show you here. Uh, for example, like, like we selected this Ubuntu server, it will ask us the, now choose the instance type. Okay, so uh, for example, I can choose T2 micro and all other sizes based on my requirement. For now, demo purpose, I will just go ahead with T2 micro. And the third thing it requires is key pair, okay, by which you will uh, be able to log into this particular server once this server is created. So I have already sorry created an i have already created a ec2 a key pair called devops tool so i'll just use that Here, I'm just showing you this manual thing as well so that you can uh, relate it when I'm what I'm doing in uh, Terraform. Next, so uh, now here, if even if I miss, I keep it like this, it's fine, which I'm going to do that that way only. Add storage. Again, if we leave it as default, that's fine. Add tags if we want to do, do that. It's always a good practice, okay? To add the uh, tags. Um, mainly in, uh, in real time, these tags are very important and certain organizations, in fact, they set rules. Okay, uh, in AWS that you have to define predefined tags, otherwise your infrastructure won't be created. Okay, the, uh, no, sorry, I mean, I'm just going bit more detail in AWS, but yes, that's, uh, that's how it works. So it, it's a good practice. I just define uh, one here. Yeah. Configure security group. Again, you can uh, leave it as it is. Like, let's use any of the default one, and it will, it will be fine. Review and launch. 
okay so at launching it asks you for a key pair okay which we have defined again in our uh, terraform okay so this is how it works so uh, as i showed you number of things were optional there okay three things which we required was the ami name the size of the aws instance and this key pair which we have defined here and this is all what we need to move ahead okay rest of it can be uh, it will take by default again it's not a good practice but just for the demo purpose i'm uh, showing it here rest of it it will take care automatically that's it and let's we are ready to create our first instance okay now uh, can anybody tell me what should be the first terraform command i should run i covered that in the uh, theoretical part terraform init that's right absolutely thank you very much so terraform init so what terraform init will do it will help this provider aws provider with this these credentials to connect with aws actual aws account okay and it will download all the re required files to to communicate with aws so it will be visible very soon let's see that terraform in it okay see it initializing providers plugins so it's now downloading those plugins you will soon see here a folder called dot terraform under first hey viewers are you looking for formal training on sre practices take our sre program this course will teach you how to successfully implement site reliability engineering in the modern day 24 into 7 services kick start your sre training today contact info is mentioned in the video sidebars and in the description box book your seats for the upcoming batches now Okay, initialization is done. We will see that uh, we have got a folder called dot terraform, which has got that provider, which has all the definitions to uh, connect with AWS and communicate and give the necessary instructions as per our configuration. Okay, so this initialization is done which means we have successfully uh, communicated with our aws account next uh, next is terraform plan guys yep
Okay, guys. Let's go through it slowly. AWS that instance EC2 instance will be created. Let's see that. AWS instance dot EC2 instance. Okay, so this is the definition of that resource which requires which has these three configuration parameters. Okay, so it's it's saying that with these configuration parameters it will create a resource. Okay. AMI name which we have provided and these are the parameters which will be configured okay once the infrastructure is created okay all this known after apply okay uh, Two or three parameters mandatory one which we have provided are given here okay Uh, uh, root uh, folder separately as well okay this here it is showing as part of the instance but here it is showing that as a, a separate resource okay uh, just uh, just for uh, for your reference nothing else so but it is essentially going to create one resource which is then an ec2 instance okay now this was planned so it it didn't ask for any confirmation to us it just gave us this uh, plan that it's going to create this particular resource now let's go ahead with the next command which is terraform guys anyone terraform apply yep thank you very much It's usually much faster in uh, Linux. In, uh, uh, in, for me, in real time, I work in uh, Linux environment. I use this uh, Ubuntu set, which works wonderfully well. It should not take this much time. 
Okay. Fine. So it's again shown, as I said, when you say Terraform apply, it will again show you that plan that you want to perform these two of you. Which will go ahead this particular. What's happening is, guys, can you hear me? Yes. yes, yes I just yes. got, uh, okay. Okay, so what's currently happening is, Terraform with the help of this Terraform provider, AWS provider, is creating an instance in the AWS. Let's go there and see that. So I just didn't create. It's still uh, refreshing. Let it take some time. Okay, here it has created. Fine. My connectivity is a bit slow, it seems. Okay, fine. So uh, you will see that we define only two to three things only. Uh, this AMI ID seven one. Okay, so key name is here. Instance type this much, and our AMI ID using which it has created the. Okay, so this is uh, this was a basic example. Now we will move to the used. I'm saying so that this is not okay. My voice is breaking. No worries. Let me just shift myself to uh, other place so that I get 
better reception thanks for watching want to study further join our training programs today